you should probably know that I have a really dark and unpredictable side to me. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say when. When? What are you? We are. We are Venom! <laughs> we are. Venom! No. Oh! Yeah, we, we are. Venom. Bella. We are going to need to work on that. Delicious! You take me to all the finest places. I need to tie up most. This is a long intro to a trailer. It was impossible. But we were alone in the universe. And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. What? We are fugitives. In the shit. We are living the dream, my friend. You mean it? No! Very This is chess! Hello! There has to be a reason they're after us. <laughs> There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. As long as Venom lives, everyone, everything will end. We may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie, the time has come. Hmm. How fast do you think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out! Bruh! Alright, so we got our first official trailer for Venom The Last Dance. Now, a couple of things stood out for me. There's a couple of moments in the trailer where you realise there is a bit of a reference to what happened at the end of Venom 2 uh, with the idea of the multiverse, but I don't know how much, of the, how much they're going to explore it. But the thing that is literally going through my mind 100 miles per hour is Chiwetel for His character is, is, is ridiculous. I don't know if he's playing Mordor or is he playing a different character entirely? We don't know if they're set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or it's set back in the universe that Eddie Brock is living in right now where he got sent back at the end of uh, Venom 2. That's gonna throw a spanner within the works. People are gonna lose their minds because if Chuatel Ejiofor is actually playing Mordor in this film, then the connection is there between the two franchises and the multiverse saga is just gonna split wide open. What is gonna happen? I do not know. But from the looks of it, it looks alright. It's not R-rated by the looks of it. Um, I don't know if that's because of the trailer, but if it is R-rated, I hope it's R-rated and long enough so we delve deeper into the character development of the characters. That's all I'm asking for. Venom The Last Dance is officially coming out in cinemas in October. What do you think of the official trailer for Venom The Last Dance?